Hi and welcome to this one of the Tech Geeks videos. Today we're going to be asking the question, what is all the fuss when it comes to Ubiquiti cables? All right, maybe you didn't even know that Ubiquiti made Ethernet cables. You've probably been aware that they do them on a drum, uh, UISP Carrier, UISP Pro, uh, CMR I think is another one of the other ones, 305 meters long and you can build, uh, put on the ends that you want. But maybe you didn't know that Ubiquiti make some patch panel cables as well, some patch leads as well. What do we have at the moment? All right, we have uh, the flexible bendy, which we have a look at in a minute. We have ether lighting, all right, and we have outdoor. So at the point of recording this, the beginning 2024, those are the three main types of pre-made cables. In these um, bendable ones, in the small lengths, the 0.22s, all right, we have 50 packs as well. Really easy, grab that, got a, you know, a 48 port switch, so super easy just to uh, patch that with a whole pack of those. Why are they so good? Okay, well, <laughs> there are a number of reasons. Let's just have a look through some of these. And some of these you think, that's not relevant to me, and that's fine. But I think that these have a great place in the market um, for their flexibility. So this is a standard uh, cable. Right, this is made by Astrotech. This is a Cat6A. Cable, we'll talk about the ratings of these in a moment. It is a solid six mil wide cable. All right, normal connector that you've probably been used to up on the end there. Nothing really that exciting and special about it, but it is rigid. Put that up against a Ubiquiti cable. Now, this one is actually a Cat6. So on our lengths, really, the difference between a Cat6 and a Cat6A is not really gonna make any difference. Probably one of our significant differences is how long the connector is here at the top compared with this, but more importantly, how flexible this one is, which is what I want to show you. So this, if we had a switch, um, I've got a USW Lite 8 here, I've got a Cloud Gateway Ultra at the bottom. This is what we might do if we've got this in our little rack. Maybe we buy, this is a half meter, probably buy a point uh, 25 centimeter. That is what we have. If we wanna try and get the cable to go somewhere else, we're actually over pinching it here and we have a chance of damaging the cable if we do that many times. So we sort of end up having to run with this loop. There are ways of tidying it away, I give you that. This is not about lots of workarounds, I'm just trying to show you some of the options that there are with these cables. Let's take a Ubiquiti patch cable. These are truly, truly flexible. So let me show you this. This end I flexed now and it's actually stayed in shape. Look at that. Maybe I could bend it this way, all right? And again, it's what it's designed to do. I've not overstretched this or structured this. This is going to stay like this and the cables inside there are going to be nice and safe. We also get this nice thin profile as well. Now, Ubiquiti make these in a number of lengths. Uh, at the moment, I think we have the 0.1, also referred to as a 0.22, just to confuse things. So Ubiquiti uh, call the length of the cable between these two uh, points. They don't include the connectors. The connectors are about four centimeters each. So this is a 0.3. The original ones that came out, which you can also buy in a 50 pack here, all right, are 22 centimeters long, but they've actually just got a 10 centimeter piece of cable in the middle um, and the rest maybe it's slightly more than that, the rest of that is actually made up of the connectors on either side. So these might be slightly longer than uh, the uh, four centimeters I thought they were. So a 0.22 actually has 10 centimeters of cable in the middle. They are super flexible. So we have the 0.22s, also called the 0.1s, just to confuse things. We have the 0.3s, we have a half meter, um, we have one meter, I think we have two meter, potentially three meter and five. Um, and in some of them, we've got some eights as well. So we've got colors, white, blue, and black. But what is the main thing that I like about these? The main thing I like about these, so these ones, is our flexibility. So let's go back to our USW Lite and our Cloud Key Ultra. Maybe, or oh, Cloud Ultra Gateway, I always call those the wrong things. Maybe we wanted to, we've maybe got a little bit of a short cabinet, or maybe we've even stuck this behind the TV or something. Well, we can actually bend our cables like this, all right, and have our cables now, hopefully you can see, they are angled and out of the way and they will keep that profile. Maybe they wouldn't quite fit in the rack, otherwise that gives us some great versatility. There's no wastage, the plastic 
usage here is minimal. We've got a really nice thin cable. It's flexible as well, can be tucked out of the way. So that's what I love about these bendable cables. Like I said, they are in blue, black, and white in a multiple different numbers of lengths. Uh, here's one of the longer uh, lengths here. Again, the weight and the size of that cable, even compared uh, to this short length um, of standard is quite significant. So that is the first ones that we have got. Now I'm quickly looking down on the bench because I seem to have lost the next one that I need to show you. All right, so that's why I like the bendable ones. Uh, great, like I said, available in 50 packs as well. Now let's try and see the other cable that I seem to have misplaced. All right, we will come back to in a moment. All right, we now have the outdoor cables. So these ones are category six. These ones are category 5E. Really, it doesn't matter to a certain extent once we get past category 5E. Why? Because once we go to 6 and 6A, really it's the same metal inside it. We're just adding extra layers of shielding. All right. So these have a uh, earth wire running all the way through it. Uh, they are fully sealed at the end. So let me lift those up to you. Hopefully, you, hopefully it will focus on those. Really nice. This metal shroud here is connected to a metal wire that runs all the way through the middle. So the performance you're going to get from that is the same as a Cat6 cable. These don't have the flexible ends, um, but they are rated and weather resistant. Um, and so really good. I think these are up to about eight meters. So not a significant length, but enough to maybe poke through the wall to put your Air Max, your Loco or your Nano Station or your Nano Beam or something like that on the other side. So that is another really good cable option to have a look at. Um, and again, another reason why I would have a look at these, they're pre-made, uh, resilient, um, and again, fairly flexible, which makes it a little bit more easy to push those through the areas. Then, our last one, these tiny ones. These, all right, are the ether lighting cables. What's an ether lighting cable? We have the Pro Max range of switches, which actually have an LED in the back of the switch port, um, and that shines, and you could configure that in a range of different colors, allowing you to shine the color through maybe for a VLAN or for a specific port group that you've put it into. So these um, are only in total of 15 millimeters, so 15 millimeters between here and here, and they've got clear ends. We've got some other videos on this. So they've got some clear ends, hopefully that will focus. There we go, which allow the color from the LED to actually focus through there. All right, so again, very specific. These are designed between your patch panel um, and your Pro Max. It's not really going to give any use in this, um, but again, gives you an idea of the short length ones that we've got of those uh, Cat6 ones with bendable ends of how tidy they actually make that look. So if it's going to a Pro Max switch, again, if this was the Pro Max switch at the top, we'd have that color being able to show through the whole way. It doesn't display the color down here and fleck down here. It is only in the top bit where the LED is, um, but it's a really good, useful thing. So what's all the fuss about Ubiquiti cables? There are plenty of choices of them that we've talked about. Um, so quick run through to reminder, outdoor, got a drain wire through the middle of it. These are Cat 5E, up to about five meter, eight meters, sorry, in length, weather resistant, already sealed, uh, already made great for outdoor. We've got the short ether lighting cables here. Um, if you've got the Pro Max range of switches, and then we've got the bendable end from the 10 uh, centimeter long all the way up to eight meter again. Really great, thin cable, really flexible, great for both ends um, where you want to patch, not just in your rack, maybe you've got res um, short space or whatever, it is great to be able to get that bend or move it to a way that works. So that's what's all the fuss about. Will it work for you? I don't know, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of why I have a look at these when I'm doing a job and go, actually, I quite like this as a way of being able to tidy away or give me some flexibility of control how the cables go. But like I said, won't always work in every situation, but hopefully you've had a look at the current ones here in 2024, those different cables that are available pre-made from Ubiquity.